M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. I had a question. Alens HD1 DMR VHF UHF radio or Alens HD2? There's not a massive difference in the price. I would say really you should go for the HD2. You get Bluetooth, you get more contacts. They're both nice, nice design radios. They have a good reputation and they both work well. I've got them here and I use them regular on DMR and even on my normal FM analog repeater up the road, GB3 type repeater. So on the left hand side, the big difference is the amount of contacts and the Bluetooth, which really I never use. <laughs> um, so I do like them both for different reasons. They are of course very similar. 10 watt radios and tested at 10 watt as well. IP67, you're looking at the HD1 at the moment. Slightly different screen colors because you've got night mode on the on the HD2. They both do broadcast radio, big batteries, and you will not be unhappy. And if you only want to spend around a hundred pound, if you use AliExpress, 100, 110, you'll get one of these. Of course, programmable using software, programmable buttons on the side, solid set, comes with a desktop charger, big LED on top. You do need that special sort of adapter. So if you do buy it, go for the one that includes everything where you get the cable, the programming cable, you may as well. Once you get to that level, you might as well grab all the extras because it's literally like seven pound more. Uh, so that's the HD one. Okay, on the left, now we we'll quickly scroll through HD2 here on the right. It may, yeah, that's this is night mode, and this probably the night mode screen is, is the thing I like the most about it. Of course, the 500,000 contacts they both have weather channels, IP67 is the same, and battery size 3200 there. Uh, yeah, both batteries are the same. Going up and DMI, it is a learning curve, but don't uh, don't be um, sort of irritated by it. Enjoy learning the the bits that have to that tax the brain to learn how to use a DMR radio. Because once you've learnt it, and it will drive you crazy, you will regret buying it and go, "Oh my God, I can't do this." But don't give up. Keep trying, and eventually you'll get there, and then you'll feel good about yourself, and you'll be able to learn. DMR radio. The other thing is they just, as I said, they work so well, work so well on normal repeaters. You don't have to use DMR. So there you go, going back through. And the radio that I always recommend uh, to everyone because it's so cheap is the DM1701. It pretty much do the same thing, no Bluetooth. And yeah, it won't hold the contacts and the, a good amount of contacts unless you use it with the GD77 free firmware but 40 odd pound delivered mm, it's a no-brainer that's the one I recommend but I've got have I got them both of course I have uh, thanks for watching my YouTube channel please like I do really appreciate it if you also hit that subscribe it just makes me feel like um, you know you're willing to add me as 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 a as as part of the community let's say and if you fancy it buy me a coffee i've managed to even work out how to do a nice photograph of my coffee you just hit the link at the top and then i'll go out and buy a coffee bye for now seven three